Hey, Walter Sorrell's back with more tips for the knife maker. Today, day three of the Nightfall Project. So back in the shop on the morning of day three of my uh, new Nightfall Knife Project. So if you haven't been following it, I'm working on this knife right here. This is a new knife design and uh, it's the first one that I'm going to be doing on my CNC machine. So uh, if you haven't followed those, you might want to check the, uh, the earlier videos about this particular project just to see kind of the arc of what I'm doing. But anyway, this is day three of the first knives coming off the, off the new CNC machine. Um, basically just continuing on with what I was doing uh, yesterday. So I'm going to finish up uh, the CNC part of making these nightfalls and get started uh, on grinding. So we'll see how that goes right now. So just to show you what I'm going to be working on today, I've done one, two, three, four, seven or eight of these so far. So all the CNC work is done on here and we've got the outline made. We've got little tabs on here so that you can support it in the, in the CNC machine. We've got the bevels done. So the task for today, once these get finished, is to grind these little tabs off, grind this little portion here so that it comes even with the bevel, and then we'll grind the entire bevel to its finished texture, I guess you'd say. So we'll see how that goes. First, I'll get the CNC machine cranked up, continuing on with the bevels. As in previous days, I'm kind of juggling the CNC work with some custom commissions. I've been doing knives on a CNC machine for about seven years. It took quite a while to come up with an approach to the bevels that worked. Now that I've got the new Haas, I'll probably be adjusting the approach to something that's a little faster, but for now, this'll do fine. Meanwhile, as the Haas is working on the knife blanks, I'll pick up where I left off with the two custom blades I'm working on. Some people would argue that this kind of knife making is more, I don't know, real knife making or something. That's BS. I've been making swords and knives for 25 years or so and working on a CNC machine, all the little tiny nitpicky things that you have to iron out, figure out, think through, test. It's really in some ways a lot more demanding than making a handmade knife. Well, it's just different. Making knives on a grinder. Now, there's lots to learn about heat treating and materials and all that. There's a thinky part to it, but the actual physical skill of using a grinder it's more like learning to throw a curveball or play pool. It just takes a ton of practice to get good at it. Anyway, just to give you the flavor of random stuff that you take on as a knife maker, this spoon went down the disposal, so who gets volunteered to fix it? Five minutes on the belt grinder, and now I can stick it in my mouth again without gashing my lips. Once I've gotten to a stopping place with the custom blades and the spoon, I'll get to the part of the job that I talked about earlier, grinding off the tabs on the tips of the knives. Now this may look pretty simple, but it's actually very exacting work. If you get too slap happy, you won't blend the tip and the rest of the bevel correctly and the knife could potentially at least end up in the scrap heap or you have to do a lot of adjustment and it might not end up looking that good. Once the tips blended with a relatively heavy grit belt, I'll switch to a 3M Trizac Gator Grit Belt, one of my favorites for finish work. Hey, if you're enjoying this video or the other knife making videos that I've been making for the past 14 years, yes, that's right, please help this channel by supporting us on Patreon. You know, all these nifty cameras and lights and stuff cost money, and the time that I spend on this video does not begin to be covered by the tiny amount of dough that I get from 
you know, ads on YouTube. The more support I get, the more videos that I can put out, the more help I can give you guys. As a way of saying thanks for your support, I make plans for most of my builds available to my subscribers on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Walter Sorrels. I'll smooth everything out with a 300 micron belt, then move to 100 micron in preparation for heat treat. I mean, there's really no particular need to go all the way to 100 grit at this point, but since I'm working on some new processes, I just want to get a look at how everything's developing as I go. I'm getting a nice crisp grind line, everything's very even, so I'm very happy with how it's sort of transitioning from the CNC to the grinder. I made these little trays out of HDPE quite a few years ago for moving batches of knives around the shop. I bought the little El Cheapo Harbor Freight cart a couple months back. Strangely, metal carts are cheaper than plastic. I wasn't sure what I'd use it for, but it's been handy for a ton of different things. Spent a good chunk of the afternoon grinding bevels. I'm good for about two hours at the grinder, and then my 60-year-old back starts telling me to do something else. Fortunately, I've gotten all the bevels done, so I'll go ahead and start wrapping the blades in heat treating foil. My intention had been to heat treat the knives today, but as usual, the schedule slipped a little bit. It's kind of getting dark, and I'm about ready to call it a day. Also, I know I'm going to be up till all hours editing video, so enough's enough. All right, so that about wraps it up for the day. We have got all of the knife blanks made. They're all ground and ready for heat treat. So tomorrow morning, heat treat. That's the real magic part of knife making, in truth. I mean, everybody likes seeing all the sparks flying and all that cool stuff, but turning a soft piece of steel into something that's suitable for an edge tool, that's the real magic of knife making. So that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. Also, in the CNC machine, I'll be getting started on the uh, handle scales. I got a few of them done uh, in my previous batch that I did on the Tormach. So I'll do another set of them in here and see how they come out. All right, look forward to seeing you again tomorrow, and uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like what we're doing here, please subscribe and make sure that you click on that bell so you get notified of all the latest videos. Want to buy a knife from me? Check out my modern blades at tacticsarmory.com. Digging the channel? You can support our video making efforts on Patreon. You know, I've been banging away on these videos for like 10 years, so I hope you'll show some love for all that hard work. Link in the cards and descriptions. Finally, if you're interested in making Japanese swords, check out my full line of Japanese sword videos where I show how to forge Japanese swords as well as how to polish them and how to make fittings, handles, and scabbards. Walter Sorrel's Blades dot com.